Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET MVC Code Snippet and in this video we will learn how to do multiple posts via different forms. So as you can see here in this picture, many times we face this situation that we want to put a multiple forms on a single view. Okay, as you can see here there is sign in form also as well as sign up form also and we want to post this form data to our controller. Okay. So let us see this part practically. As you can see here, I already created one application, MVC application that is multiple post as well as I added one controller also and the name of that controller is account controller and in my account controller, I created index action method also. Okay. Now here I designed the index view also so as you can see here i use bootstrap classes for this okay outer is div uh, main div where i applied the row bootstrap class and then i divided this row in two divs and each div is of column six and in that div i designed the form this is my first form of sign up so basically what we have to do, we have to create a two different forms. That's it. Okay. And here in the second view, so sorry, in the second div, I created another form. Okay. Now what is the major task? Major task is to post this form information to a controller. So what you can do here, basically we will create a two action method in our account controller. The first action method will handle the login data, whereas second action method will handle the sign up data or registration data. Okay, so let us see this part. So let us write an action method that will process a data of sign in form. Okay, so public action result. Okay, let us call my method as sign in. Okay, currently. I am going to collect the values using this form collection. Let us say values and then we will say return view. Similarly, what will I do? I will create one more method, one more action method that will, that will process a data of my sign up form. So public action result sign up. Here also, I am going to use form collection values. Okay. And here, I will say return view. Now, I already told uh, or I already uploaded the videos of how to collect the request value using form collection. So, basically, what you have to say values of in square bracket, you have to specify the name of our input tag. So, suppose I want to fetch this user data. So, what I have to say user. For password, I have to say pass. So you can collect it and keep it in your variable and then process it. Okay. Actually, we can do this part using model binding also. But in upcoming videos, I'll show you how to use strongly type helpers with a multiple forms on a single view. Okay. So time being, I'm not going to include this part here. But suppose you want to process it. I'll I just tell you how to process it. Values of pass. Okay, collect this value in any variable, say p is equal to, sorry, string p is equal to. So you get this value in variable p. Similarly, you can collect the data stored in user tag, user uh, text box, and then you can process it. Okay, so let me comment this part. Now we completed our controller part we specified the action method that we want to process when my particular form is submitted now what is the next method here to your action attribute of your form you have to specify the action method that you want to execute when you click on the submit button so let us specify it using url url dot action helper okay this is url helper and here you will specify your method name. So my method name is signing. My method name is signing. So whenever user click on this sign in button, the sign in action method get execute. And similarly, when user click on the sign up button, which action method should get execute? 
sign up so url dot action so let me confirm it let me confirm the name that is sign up right so in this way you can post a data of a multiple forms from a single view now let us verify it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a breakpoint here and here since we do not have sign in and sign up view so what we will say we will say redirect to or display the view index okay similarly here also index so it is not necessary that your action method should always generate the view it can just process your data also okay so once your data get process you can redirect to different action or you can display the different view it is your choice so as you can see here our view is rendered okay so this is our form so now let me put something here say admin and 1 2 3 4 5 okay so let us click on this sign in look at here this method get call and if you observe the values of this this text expand this result view you will get the value of user and pass let us continue it so we uh, we again displayed the same view now let me put something here say test say test 1 contact number is 1122 Email is test at the red gmail dot com. Password one two three one two three. Actually, we have to put a. You can put a validation and uh, extra other parts also. But here, as I as I am going to focus on how to post a multiple form data, so I am just going to cover this part here. So when I click on this sign, look at here. This method get executed, and here you will get your data. okay i already told you how to collect your data and how to process it and in upcoming videos i definitely uh, upload a video and it will have the strongly type helpers in it okay here we use plain html tag so instead of that what we are going to do we are going to use strongly type helpers and instead of collecting the values using form collection we are going to use complex model binding also so i hope you enjoy this video thank you